Welcome. Welcome. This is the Pablo Cunha story on FM 2024. I am your host, Jack, and this is the Jack City Gaming Channel. So, we ran into a bit of a stinker. Now, you saw me in this uh, Progresso game. We lost two to one. We stunk. We all watched it. And we had a heartbreaking little header right at the end of the game. Now, Next game was way more exciting. Uh, we conceded very early, and then we scored four. They scored two. Game ended. We actually got a nice hat trick as well. Christian Franco, good for him. First one for the season, which is awesome. Then we took on Rampla Juniors, who are the champions elect. <sighs> oh my god, this was... <laughs> we got absolutely massacred. Uh, they had the opening goal. Yeah, you're seeing it right now. Uh I'll wait. Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So, we then took on Miramar Misiones. We got a nice win. They're relegation fodder, just like we are. So, getting one over the, like the rivals of your, you know, someone in your table, it's helpful because then it tells me that, all right, we're at least not as bad as them. So, we can actually create some distance, some like measurable distance, three points above relegation teams. So that, 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 great. I loved it. Then I rotated everybody in this game and I wanted to do that so we could play Juventud, who is a really good team, coached by Diego Forlan, like the Diego Forlan. And he's doing a great job over there. We got destroyed. We got absolutely destroyed. There was the, the, the rotations were too much, so we got wrecked. And then when I actually played the team, they were so devastated by the loss of against Oriental de la Paz in the cup, which the board told me that they didn't care about. Juventus just absolutely massacred us. So now, you know... And by the way, Juan Muguerza scored. That was his first game. He came on in like the last like five minutes of the game. Scored. You know, he got a goal on his debut. He literally has not played for us. Scored in his debut in a 7-1 thrashing. It's like the most miserable existence that guy lives. I cannot wait for him to leave. And this is what happens. We go to the board. We go to the board. And um, now we have to talk to them because they're pissed. So let's, we're all going to do this together. We're all going to have fun. Um, now I'm going to pick the injuries because if i'm honest we have always had two three four injuries like at a time there's always been two three four injuries so i've always had to chop and change all right um we'll take the injury problems into account but we still want to know how do you plan to improve the team's performance um hmm I, I want them to... I'm going to ask for patience. Things didn't really go to plan this season, but I hope you adopt a patient approach and understand that we will be back next season. Much, much better. So I'm I'm just going to tell them like, hey, forget it. Like, let's let's start thinking about next season now because it's over. Um... Or the end of this season. I'm going to say the end of this season. I, you know what? Let's not just make, throw it out into the... Make next season like a doom and gloom too. Let's just do this. All right, we have confidence in you. Okay. So, all right. So, we did that together. We did it. That's great. Okay. Now, uh, this is the, the run of games here. We got Uruguay Montevideo, who's in fifth. Tequarembo in sixth. And then we got Bella Vista and Oriental La Paz. Let's pad the numbers because it's not going to be a 7-1 loss again. I guarantee that because we're actually going to have a, like a fully staffed team. Then we took it on Cerrito in third, Sudamerica in fourth, Matistas in seventh, and then a Tennis de San Carlos in eighth. So we have some winnable games here. Uh, Bella Vista and Oriental, and then also Rentistas and a Tennis de San Carlos. I think those games are going to be our chances because these teams are now top half, you know, Tequa Rambo, Uruguay, Cerrito, and uh, Sudamerica. So, uh, yeah, and that's 
let's I'm gonna go into the Bella Vista game. Um, I just wanted to show you that 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 happened. I had talked to the board because of how horrible things went. So let's uh, let's just pop right into the future here. All right. So you thought that I was going to come back for the Bella Vista game, but I'm not. I have another board request for you this time. They have me on multiple counts. <laughs> That's basically what I feel like. They're like count one guilty count two guilty <laughs> like, here. Uh, it is the poor performance or poor atmosphere in the locker room. Poor atmosphere in the locker room. Now, little background here. These guys, Maximiliano Cayorta, Martin Correa, and Alan Bonansea all want more games to play. However, Christian Franco is dominating. They won't take that for an answer. Instead... They're like, you should be playing me more regardless. By the way, all these guys are leaving at the end of the season anyways. They all have the, um, you know, the the real life leaving. So when he's like, I'm asking to leave, I'm like, you're already leaving. So I don't care. Just, it's just the truth. Now, I've there were a lot more agrees at one point. Now there are the disagrees here. The thing is, Alan Bowen and Seiya, so by the way, this is all spurred on by the fact that I just played this game, Uruguay Montevideo, we blew a 2-0 lead, and we were the most dominant, we were the dominant team 60 minutes into the game. And then it just, <whistles> done. Done. Yeah. And the last goal, unbelievable. The 87th minute broke my heart. So crazy. It... <laughs> it's so crazy oh my god I can't catch a break anyways anyways alright let's attend this meeting it's about the poor atmosphere locker room Fernando Ch Chanka we are concerned that there appears to be an increasingly poor atmosphere in the locker room from what we are told you're going to have to do something about this if you want to keep your job so I can either convince them, say, I could see that I've let the situation get out of hand, but I'm going to do everything I can to resolve the issues. I can improve the locker room atmosphere if I'm given the time to do so. I could dismiss it. I really don't think this is much worry about our results have been good enough. I don't think I could do that. The last one, I really can't say that I'm that concerned. There are a lot of characters in that locker room, and it's going to be hard to cultivate that sort of harmony you're asking for. I would have expected stronger backing over this, to be quite honest. Hmm. Cultivating a better atmosphere or because we, here's the thing we only have, we could cultivate a better atmosphere in a couple of games. We just have to hold on because we have one more game against another tough opponent. Then we got two teams that are like at rock bottom. Maybe that'll help us if we get a couple wins there. And then, uh, hmm. But we do have characters in there. I do want to say this. And I, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk the biscuit here. We appreciate the fact that you've been, you have the best interest of the club at heart. We're happy for you to get on with things now. We believe it's important for you to stay on good terms with you. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, we survived another day. Again, we're, I'm going to pop back over to Bella Vista. We're going to take on, I'm going to take on uh, Tequila Rambo in a little bit, but you can see that I'm telling you, I'm having flashbacks right now of that Emiliano Mello goal right now. All right. And this is the actual game, uh, just to let you know. So you saw earlier that I drew 2 2 in the last Born meeting. And then this game, we were down to nothing. It was we actually it was a really even game, like nil nil right at halftime. So first half like couldn't break us, and then they scored two 54th and 57th minute. Bad couple minutes there. Turned it around, scored a goal just a few minutes later with Christian Franco. Then I changed the tactic, went all out to try and get this goal. The guy who absolutely hates me, Martin Correa, he hates me. Scores the goal. Scores the goal. Unbelievable. Like, uh, so we're taking on Bella Vista here. And uh, they are one of the worst teams in the league. 
Actually, they're not one of. They are the worst. It's not close. So we should be just steamrolling this team. They've basically been losing every single game this entire time. Oh, and then also uh, we've had our second sacking of the season. The first one was actually in the first division. It was uh, with Deportivo Maldonado. Uh, and the second sacking of all of Uruguay. Just having Miramar Misiones dismissed their head coach. Playing the ball around pretty well so far. I don't like that. Ball's in. All right, that was a bad cross, though. So, I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Oh, okay. All right, well, you know. I guess you can try doing that. That's not optimal, but you can do it. Hmm. Actually, gonna throw it attacking. I uh, trained attacking all week, so I don't want a repeat of last game where uh, where we drew one one here. Ooh, tipped it behind. Caught you with a good shot. Yep, flicked away. Iglesias, come on. Piegas. Pons. Oh. Ah, uh, come on. Now, let's encourage the team here. We're getting about 15 minutes into the game. Oh, come on. Who is that? Iglesias? Come on. Can't be giving the ball away like that. Rodriguez. Good. I like that there's no crosses in there. Come on, win it. Ah, come on. All right, let's uh, put the stop crosses on. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to get to is uh, I want to cinch this up a little bit more because when we lose the ball, when we're finally advanced, the back three are still a little bit too far behind, and uh, I don't enjoy that really. Yeah, I guess he's getting a lot of ball time. Ooh, okay, that was a deflect. <laughs> that was a deflection. A serious one, too. I'm gonna put it back on positive. Uh let's yeah, let's expand our shape a little bit. Man, nothing going on. Iglesias, be smart. Thank you, Kachi. Kaiorda. Oh my god. Zagardia. Good save by De Silva. Good save. We needed that. That is not what we talked about honestly that is not what we talked about hold on here i'm gonna have him move in the channels yeah catchy roam for position sure let me cross more often uh yeah run outside run outside this roll Roam from position and also, yeah, roam from position. Okay, let's uh, let's just get a little more creative out here. I'm not liking where we are right now. A 
Yeah. I'm going to berate them. I Hopefully this... All right, so they did like that. Okay, let's uh, let's throw the attack on for the last five minutes. See if, see if we can get anything out of this, because the the momentum here is clearly in their favor. Maybe you have to change something. I bet you it's Alan Bonanseya. He's not playing because Kyrta stinks. I really don't. I don't like him. Kachi. There we go. Franco. Come on, Franco. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 1-0 right before the half. That is what that is what the doctor ordered right there. That's great. That's exactly what we needed. Woo. Uh, I'm going to swap these guys. Tell me there's a highlight right now. It better be for us. I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Let's just keep it like that. Let's let's have Franco. Franco scored as the uh, the target forward, which is hilarious. So, we'll take that. Let's keep it going. We had a really good opportunity at the end to score. Uh, more of that, please. That's all right. I'll take a corner. We got two big men in the back post. We got we've got another one, number forty. Hit it by Diaz. Okay, we got another one. Man. I have a little bit of a cold coming on. I can feel it. I can feel it. Zagardia. Alright, there we go. A little miscommunication. That'll work. Oh, I don't know what that was, but Pons has got it again. Varela? No way! Jim Varela! <laughs> oh, that's exactly what we need. I don't care how they come. That thing was a shot. That was a shot. That was that was all skill and power. Oh my god. Yeah, it just lays it off for Varela one time. Just a little daisy cutter right to the corner. Now we're up two. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. This is what we need. We need four <laughs> morale. We need to beat these teams. Iglesias, he's on the back post. Oh. If he scored, he's like eight, he's like 18, 19 years old. Carrot is not playing that well. I might honestly play a throw on Correa. Silva. Kutu. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good save. Good save by da uh, De Silva. I was going to say David Silva. Okay. Mm. I'm going to hold off on subs for now. Nope. Come on, we gotta get it out of here. Alright, thank you. Right, I'm just looking at the passing numbers here. Pons, that's exactly what I'm... I want Pons to be in there because he's... Pons is so good. Augustine Pons. Kyrota. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, Maximiliano Cayorda scores. Are you kidding me? Oh. 
I couldn't make this game better. 3 0. A little Pat Statting. Pat Statting? Stat Patting. <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay. Well, Martina, I don't want to throw Facundo Vega in, so let's, um, let's throw in, yeah, let's throw in, uh, Gaston Sanchez. I just want to get him a little bit more fit. And let's take, honestly, I'm going to take off Franco probably at 70 minutes for Correa. Gaston Paiva, should I put him on? Yeah, 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 yeah. let's do that. I'm going to throw him on as an engaunch. Good stuff. Yeah, that was a mismatch right there. Vieira. Nicolini. Rodriguez. Ah, come on. I'm throwing down down to positive now. This uh, this is every time we can never keep the clean sheet. We all it's always like a a shift like that. Encourage. I'm nervous. My my foot is just going right now because I've seen this too many times. I've seen it too many times where we we get a lead and we we look good and then we just start concede one goal. We concede another goal. Then we concede another goal, and then all of a sudden it unwinds and we've drawn the game. It, I've seen it too many times. Vieira, oh, all right. I think Gonzalo is going to come off now. Patero gets it off. Kyorda. Ah. Uh, come on, Iglesias. Gets the pump back in. Franco. Ah. Uh, now it's up to Muller. He gets it in. It's pumped away. It's batted back down. Paiva, Pons. Oh, deflected away. Dude, we we just... Honestly, we need a fourth goal to, to seal this game. I'm telling you, like, the two goals have haunted me so many times. Oh, I t said I was going to take off uh, Franco. I'm going to do that. Um, what else? You know what? Probably Sosa. Let's, uh, I'm going to peel him back as well. And then... See if uh, Correa could be just like a little bit more... I'm going to try it. I'm just... Why not? I'm so nervous. I know it's so late and it's like, oh, you're taking on the worst team. It's... I have so much trauma from the losses. Here we go. Kyorda, come on, get a double. You can do it. Thank you, right down the middle. Oh, I can let out, I let out, you know, I am, I'm sitting pretty now. I don't care, we're good. Uh... Tempo down. Run at him. But you don't have to be as expressive now. Slow the pace down. Keep that going. Thank you. 4-1. That's the score line.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is what I needed. And Kyra, honestly, the thing is, too, is like Kyra put in a terrible game like recently. In one of those 2 2 games, I had him start and, instead of Bonanseya. And I wanted to do Bonanseya, but I was like, I'll just cave and have him play. Sure enough, sure enough, Kyra has an absolute stinker, and I put on Bonanseya, and now we're starting to link up play. Now we're starting to have an attack. Oh, that was the game. That was the last game. That was the last game. That was when we, we came back 2 2. So, like, I took him off, and I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. And then, sure enough, in the middle of the week, you know, I, I think Bon and Say gets, a, gets the flu. And I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> Kyra is going to start. Bounce around. Yeah, okay. All right. This is it. Uh, oh. Okay. There we go. 4 1 victors over the uh, worst team in the league. And uh, we really needed that badly, if I'm honest. So, you know, we'll take an easy three points no matter what. And Progresso has not is yet to play. And we're 10 points above Orient and uh, Miramar Misiones, as you can see here. So that's not a problem whatsoever. Rambler Juniors look like they're probably going to win the title. There's not many games left to play. But, uh, yeah, that is it. But please, again, let, tell me if you... Um, are enjoying this series i through all this frustrated like this is really challenging me and how i attempt to play football manager so i'm actually enjoying it for that reason i know i'm letting a lot of frustration and just seeing what's going on because it has been very challenging uh this season has been really really challenging but i yeah i, I feel a little bit better i have now unbeaten in three this is the second time i've done that i've never gone four so i have, i feel like Maybe we could start building off this, even though we're kind of in like the dead space getting towards the end of the season. But um, yeah, so I just, you know, please like, subscribe. Let me know how, uh, you know, uh, you know, let me know if I can do anything better for just the videos or the tactics. You know, I have no problem, you know, taking that on, taking that on board. So uh, yeah, again, this is the Pablo Acuna story. It's FM24. I'm your host, Jack, and this is the Jack City Gaming Channel. And the next one will be Oriental de la Paz.